Could you pass the salt, please, darling? Okay, so I've decided to kick back, dial things down a little bit from all the seriousness that's going on on YouTube for the moment, and just enjoy some anti-cannabis PSAs, because that shit's hilarious, and I'm sure there's a hell of a lot of them that I just haven't seen yet. So let's get right into this and see what this list has to offer to me. Wait, what? Hang on. Alien came down and said no to drugs, so the the chick went with Alien. What? <laughs> just just seeing those first couple of seconds instantly reminds me of Big Trouble in Little China. Just the scene when the guy's like... Cannabis, high for a night, slow for a month. Yeah, right, come on, man. How much do you smoke to, to seriously have your your bodily functions screw you over that much? Hey, Joey, I got some stuff you just gotta try. What is it? Pot, you know, marijuana. Oh, well, I don't know. How old is that kid? Are you fucking for real right now? Do they seriously think that, like, seven or eight-year-olds are just going around smoking this just for the lols, or...? What? I- I am actually blown away by that. Chicken. Joey's in a jam. What should he do? Uh, cake. Get a pizza. Excellent. Get a pizza. Get real. Get you got it. Let's see if Joey's that smart. I love it how they've added the Ninja Turtles in this ad, just like sort of trying to appeal to kids without realizing that the older demographic, you know, the people who actually do smoke weed that later on down the line we're talking nowadays, are going to watch this ad and be like, oh. I'm watching this while I'm actually stoned, and now I actually feel like pizza. Like legit, that's just what's happening right now. That's what, seriously, there are so many stoners that have seen this video that instantly ordered pizza the second that this video came on. I'm not chicken, you're a turkey. He's right, drug dealers are dorks, don't even talk to him. I never thought I would have ever seen the day that I would ever actually hear them say that. For an ad or not, it doesn't really matter. I heard the Ninja Turtles just say drug dealers. So, Sarah, what's going on here? Sarah? What the actual fuck? Sarah. She won't answer you. Or she can't. Why not? Because she's dead, apparently. A lot of people have this massive misconception that if you smoke weed, your life is over. Like, it's destroyed. You are dead now. Yes, weed is not for everybody. But when used appropriately and under the right circumstances, in the right environment, with the right mindset and all these other various factors that you know would be a good idea if ever trying something like that, this is a very bad example. It's these campaigns and these ads that make you fear what could happen if you have it. You know what I mean? It's like... If you try weed, this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna become some weird used up condom sitting on a couch with clothes on. This is the way it's been since she started smoking pot. She's all lazy and boring and, you know, we used to have so much fun together. You know what's funny though? Some of the most minutely detailed, intricate, and well-edited videos that I've ever made on this channel have been when I've been smoking weed. Hey, Lindsay. I 
wish you didn't smoke weed. Wait, what? <laughs> what? What just happened? You're not the same when you smoke. And I miss my friend. I'll be outside. The fact that that dog was straight up talking to her and... That is not weed. <laughs> hey, Lindsay. If I was going to compare these PSAs or anti-drug campaigns with anything, would be videos of fights and stuff that you see on Facebook. A dude bash a chick, or a chick bash a dude, or two dudes fighting it out, or an accident has happened where people in the comments section complain and because they don't have the full story of that set of circumstances that they're watching, they want to know what's happened before it, they want to know what happens after the video, they want to know like a whole history of details, and because then they don't get those history of details, they just quite simply don't believe what's happening in the video, thus they either acknowledge that it's fake, it's there is not enough conclusive anything to state that what's happening in the video is right or wrong, and that's good because they're questioning things, they're questioning the legitimacy of what it is that they're looking at or what it is that they're being shown or told. That's extremely important because that means that you want to see the bigger picture, which is fucking kudos to those people. Bye.